This is the beginning of uh, video record number one on Alan. Uh, Alan, could you tell me a little bit about uh, your your condition and how you got there? Yes, I can. I was paralyzed in a bull riding accident on February 3rd, 2013, which is roughly three years and a quarter in the past. So it's been give or take three and a half years. And I crushed my C6, which left me paralyzed from the chest down. They vacuumed out the crushed vertebrae, re vertebrae excuse me, replaced it with some space age hardware, I'm assuming. And I woke up a week later with zero movement below the pecs and uh, you know, without it to maintain bodily functions without assistance. Uh huh. So you know, it was the real deal. Okay. I almost died. Yeah, right. You're still alive. Right. Uh, okay. And so your, your mobility uh, f uh, after, after this accident, so have you been able to walk yet? Um, almost. Not not quite I've I ever been able to walk and especially not without assistance a walker um, you know devices to help me crutches these bars I sit in between right now mm -hmm. so getting in the upright position is something I'm able to do now standing and you know build more power so I uh, can take correct steps and okay walk. able able to do now uh, what, what what's changed um, what's changed is when I'm in the upright position I'm gonna stand up well, like, let, me, let, me, let me just let me just ask you ask you. This is this has been like four about four hours worth of treatment total, yes, sir. right? About four four times. Yes, sir. And um, in in uh, has that have you noticed any change because of the treatment? Yes, I have. And the change is an increase in the the snap in my spine when I'm arching my back in a standing position. Okay. You know, and and then when I go to sit how did, down, how, did that, how did that change? Excuse me. Um, how it changed was, I just feel a little bit more control, which is obviously a little bit more power. You know, that's enabling me to, you know, use that energy to recalibrate what's going on with the the looseness and give in my left side, which is a little further behind uh -huh. than my right side, which is funny because the right side is the side that's had the problems, which is just odd. Right, but neurologically, you know, maybe there was so much going on that, you know, there's some confusion. But uh, at this point, right now, within those few hours of treatment and the, you know, proactivity I've had on the bars and, um, you know, mentally, physically, and <laughs> all things under the sun, getting ready to make some moves and go for it, there's probably been like a three to five percent increase in, you know, energy that's able to be used you know I could feel it wanting to sort itself out in the mm -hmm. in the looseness of my left side okay so you, you you said do you want me to stand up uh, have you been able to stand up unassisted and, and without without uh, crutches or walker or anything like that no unassisted Good. okay well let me let me zoom back out here and let's uh, see do it man stand up Very cool. I'm kind of gonna get yeah, my yeah. legs firing so they can grab. And now the difference here with me standing and hopping is I don't have any kind of elevation under my right heel. So right now this is all how my body feels and is naturally. The the malfunctions in the hip where this leg's a little shorter. Uh-huh. The extension of my my left hip, you can see it kind of wiggling and wobbling there. Right. Grabbing, that's that's that firepower we're talking about recalibrating. Uh-huh. And so the cool thing is, right now is, even without my heel being jacked or anything, I'm willing to negotiate, letting go of the bars, and balancing, because I feel that power that I didn't feel before, mm. and I want to use it, because mm -hmm. if, you know, I feel as if there's been, you know, a little bit of extra power to use that I think the smart advocate's gonna try to get a hold of it and do what they can to give you the results. In a sense, you know, uh -huh. the candidate that wants to do what they can. So, right, right. You know, I'm basically giving it all I got right now. Right. And you 
can still see I call my left leg Sheila. I'm a funny guy, but she's a funny lady. Uh, uh -huh. Sheila's still kind of jumping around down there, you know. I'm still willing to negotiate that that balance, which you know, there's credit that needs to be given. So, so, so in in the past, have you been able to stand and not hold on to something? I've worked my way towards that. Um, but ability. the question is, have you been able to do it? Um, honestly, Charles, not not to the degree of what I'm doing now, without anything other than what we're working with. You know, there's there's nothing else on the side going on. You know, this is you, me, and the treatment I'm getting. So, so, so you can you can you're like you can go and not hold on, stand up, and and the weight of your body on your legs. Very close. The weight's there, but again, that power needs to be negotiated with, you know, A, how to stretch this loose and, I don't know, you know, not yeah. not do anything bad, but uh, right. pull anything or whatever, but with it being so tight, I mean, you can see I got a little brace. It's one thing to trick my mind and let go with different hands, because this hand has, you know, less, well, it has more ability than my left hand, Uh huh. because my left hand barely works at all. Right. So... I mean, yes, there's you know, there's been a an increase in power, and I I'm comfortable to continue trying to dial it back in so I can. And your and and your your posture, your your ability to stand up as straight as you are without bending over. Yes, and maintain that balance. That's yeah. when you work in the core. Right. Working the spine, doing exercises I know, suck uh -huh. my belly button to my spine. Uh -huh. Little things I can tell myself internally that trick my body into giving that, you know, muscle memory response and that also, you know, right. enhances more energy. Right. As long as I use it right, you know, and not, don't yeah. don't totally yeah, uh, gas out, you know. So Yeah, right on. Let me reset myself. She was firing hard. That's that energy. Wow. It's, we don't kind of want to cheat it and say we're just balancing. Let's get a little grab. Yeah, muscles getting back into shape, huh? Well. Neuron wise, it fires so hard that I'll, it'll burn. Uh huh. And I like it. Oh. <laughs> I think I gotta take a whiz, bro. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about the edit. Okay. Is there any other tricks you wanna wanna show off before we end off this uh, this log? Yes, Charles. There's one trick I'd like to show you. Thank you for asking. What I'm doing is scooting a little bit of dirt under my right heel. Uh huh. It helps enhance that uh, ability to, you know, lengthen my leg while I do stand upright because of all the the tension and the you know the hard, not soft tissue going on in my hip. Right. So a little bit more scoot scooting of dirt. Have a little mound to put the heel on. Right. That's the shorted heel, the shorted leg. Yeah. 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 yeah it's, some funny stuff. That should be enough. Kick a little flat with this leg. Let's see what we got. You get him firing? Yeah. Always takes a little hopping. Let these legs know it's time to be normal. Uh, that little bit yeah. under that heel sometimes goes a long ways. I'm learning. Right on. Wow. Once I get them legs going, muscles firing. It's worse. It's almost worse if I stand still. Uh huh. But if I make them fight for it, it's not so so much a balancing act, but it's me actually working through the muscles in my back. Oh, uh -huh. these twins. Yep. 
core muscles where I used to have a six pack. And giving that, granting my left leg, that force that, it's not even a billy, but that forced firing mechanism, just saying you're gonna work. Right. And uh, depends on how comfortable you are. I'm not that comfortable letting go, but I try to bounce off these bars a little bit and make those muscles fight for it. Right. It's almost like uh -huh. I want to simulate I'm dancing. Uh -huh. You know, like I miss it, man. And people do you know would go break dancing once, twice a week <laughs> after the skate park. <laughs> but uh, you know, there's there's definitely some things happening, and uh, I'm slowly but surely learning the tricks and positioning of my left leg to help out the shortness of my right leg. Even you know, just playing that little trick with the dirt. Right. It's kind of cool because you know it's just the creativity to be like, what are you working with? Cool. Good. Okay. I think this is going to be the end of our uh, first video log with with Alan. Excellent. And uh, stay tuned as more treatments happen. Well, we'll probably do one of these once a week just to see what goes. Yeah. Sure. We we'll do a couple treatments each each a uh, couple treatments a week and and see. Sure. Cool, man. Sure. Thanks. Thank you. End of video.